subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so whenever we upload a video you'll be notified hello everyone shabik here from any online and today in this video i'm going to review the havoc os the much much better improved version of dot os so now without wasting any time let's begin so previously also i made a video upon this android p to get this android p look and feel so dot os had that feature but then there were some issues or some lags when compared to have this havoc os this is also like you this is also based upon the android oreo os but then you can get that uh, android p look and feel more richer more better for suppose if you are i don't know if you are able to see that blur whenever i swipe down you can see a slight blur let me just show you if you can see here it a slight blur appears likewise you can and the performance also is much more improved when compared to this dot os and red pay look so now let's have a look like what are the features present in this havoc os so here let me show you first like on which os it's running So here, as you can see, it ru it's running on Android 8.1.0. That's Oreo, and the security patch level is latest. That's the 5th June, 2018. So now let me show you the features of this ROM. Now let now going back. Here, if we go to the Havoc settings, here you can see you have get lot of customization options. So I cannot go and explain like each and everything in detail, but I will try to cover all. in status bar basically this uh, the feature which was similar to dot os that was the tap to sleep if you double tap on the status bar it will go to sleep like this so this is very nice and very handy feature and the second thing is the brightness control so if we glide on the status bar so as you can see the brightness increases and decreases accordingly if you go towards your right brightness will increase if you go towards your left your brightness will decrease so that's also a very nice and handy feature and now if here you can see like you can arrange the clock style how it should be shown on on your left right center or it should be hidden so there are that it like it's that up to you like how you customize and here you can set your battery style how it should be shown like circle portrait etc etc so this type of customization options are there and here you can also like enable what type of icons you want to see in the status bar for suppose you want to see the volt icon or the 4g icon so, so likewise you can set it and also you can set the traffic indicator monitor and all so traffic indicator is nothing but the speed of your net will be shown let me just show you and also let me change the position of the clock also <laughs> So as you as you you can see here, let me just focus. Yeah. So as you can see here, the speed. This is nothing but the traffic indicator. So you you can enable it, disable it, and related to that options are there. How you want to customize? Like if you only want to see the Wi-Fi activity or data, mobile data activity also. And there are some options regarding the pull down of your status bar. how you want to pull up some smart features and quick pull down options are there and also you can enable the logo of this uh, havoc os if you can see on the top left corner you can see a sort of a burning fire that's nothing but the havoc os icon so there are some this like this type of customizations now let's just go back and go to the quick settings menu i here basically in quick settings menu it can like you can dis, uh, customize here like you can see the music title track music title title track and vibrate on touch whenever you like touch any item here present like if you touch the bluetooth it will give a haptic feedback or if you press the dnd it will give you a haptic feedback so that's a sort of nice feature 
but the brightness slider brightness slider you can choose whether it should be there on the bottom or the top that that's nothing new but then if you go down and it's like editing of that uh, qu uh, quick settings icon and all so that's it and if we go to like the panel options here you can like set the opacity of the volume dialog box actually i have installed an app called the volume p android volume p so the the link will be there in the description below and you as here you can see you can get the same like look and feel of the volume bar of android p if i tap here sorry if i tap here here you can like customize the volume of your media alarm calls and the ring also you can put your phone on ring vibrate dnd likewise so that's very handy feature and i have not enabled this panel options and nothing so now just let's go back and go to ambient display here in the ambient display is nothing like whenever you get a notification uh, in the black screen you can see you will get some like uh, like for suppose you've got a whatsapp message to so it will be shown in the sort of a black screen so guys a small like suggestion don't always put your uh, this thing the ambient display on as it consumes a lot of battery so enable it only when any notification comes and also now let's going and now let's have a look at this interface option yeah any inf interface option is nothing just like the blur you can just adjust the blur personalizations and all and you can like play around with some of the displays this uh, width of the pixels and all and uh, like uh, like this you can set this blur if you can see let me just increase the brightness now it's already full let me just go to the home screen and if you can see this slight blur so you can adjust that blur setting so that's a new feature which was not there in dot os but havoc os provides and if you go to the now let's do the recents option here you can like uh, when compared to dot os you get a lot of customization options like clear all button basically this clear all button is nothing but like this button if you want to like uh, bring this button on the screen or not or whether you want to place it towards your left or right so these customization options are there as you can see here i have chose the bottom right option and in deep clean it will clean very like all the processes and uh, your phone might sometimes lag or so lag why because you are terminating all the processes so it may lag so don't enable this option and now if you go down and this is some random stuff which is nothing new when compared to dot os but here you get an omni switch recent which is kind of not good and i don't like it but here you get a new feature called the slim wrist so if you enable the slim wrist option and if you press this button then as you can see the apps are shown in a tab fashion uh, which is like almost you can say like windows in windows you get this feature in the bottom but then here you get it on your towards your right side so i like this feature a lot and you can also use it oh let me just go back and just i will disable this option temporarily right now and uh, now let's go to the notification setting and in notifications you can just you know simply like enable like the notification light should be there in dnd or not you can configure the battery light the notification light or if you want uh, yes this feature this this feature particular feature the bl blink flashlight on call i was after using miun 9 i was missing this feature and finally havoc os has provided this feature in this os so that's pretty awesome and it, it and it's a lot helpful why because at times whenever your phone is on vibration but you can't feel it but at least when your torch or your flashlight will flash you can at least get notified so that's nice and some options are here yeah this option is also available in call vibration options whenever your calls get connect disconnect or whenever it's on waiting your phone will vibrate so that's also very nice feature and now if we go back to sounds here you can like enable the sounds of the screenshot sound the camera shutter sound and the safe headset volume like it restricts 
no like up to a particular volume you should hear otherwise like we shouldn't hear the any sort of music or any media in full volume so that option is also here and some smart features are there you you can just go around and watch and if we go to if we go to weather you can set like the regarding all the weather like uh, uh in the home screen it will show so that's nothing new if we go to buttons you can simply just like customize what button should perform what action so that's also nothing new but then okay and if we go back here a new option is there called the gestures which was missing in dot os if you go here so you get this edge gestures pie gestures app circle bar and all and gesture everywhere so you can set a particular gesture and if you draw or some like particular uh, this for suppose if you draw c uh, camera will open actually i have not configured it but then this feature will be handy to a lot of people so i would rather like to disable it yeah it's already disabled and uh, app circle bar in this nothing uh, like it's nothing new but then whenever you come across any like uh, scrolling options the instead of the like this the apps will come like this circle and if we go back let me just reduce my brightness and if we go back here again we see the fingerprint option so sorry so here are four options regarding this fingerprint if you uh, like fingerprint way can unlock if you tap your whenever your screen is dimming off if you simply tap on your fingerprint scanner so it, your screen will wake and also this option i have seen first time in any custom rom that is this fingerprint unlock so this is nothing but whenever you like whenever you like uh, switch on your phone or whenever you perform a re uh, reboot it generally it asks you for the first time to enter your passcode pattern or pin but if you enable this option with just if you put your fingerprint directly your device will get unlocked so that's a nice but a very much risky feature so here you as you can see node is also there at your own risk <laughs> so if we now go back and if we go to this battery saving and is in this battery saving you can like if you enable this option it will block some sensors to function and in that way you can uh, like save some battery but do enable this option only when you are in like extreme need of the battery saver otherwise don't enable it uh, your phone may malfunction or do some other crazy stuff so enable it only when required and another feature which is like all the custom roms have that feature on all devices except this redmi 4 but in this redmi 4 i have seen this feature for the first time that if you go to in screen settings if you enable the screen stabilization i don't know if you are able to observe or not the screen is moving i don't know. let me just do the possible settings so if so as you can see in the screen stabilization i have made some uh, suitable settings so that the camera can app like capture the screen stable uh, screen stabilization feature so as you can see if i shake my phone the screen is accordingly moving towards left or right so you can enable this feature during your travel or journey whenever you are having a bumpy ride it will help you a lot and i will like to disable this feature the 5 to 6 apps i have set for the camera instagram paytm phone and for share it okay if i press here again yeah as you can see here so you can likewise said that's this is also the this feature i have seen first time in this redmi 4 custom rom have a qos hats off to the developers so yes i was talking about a feature which uh, all the custom roms have in uh, all smartphones excluding redmi 4x but then finally this feature has brought by havoc os in redmi 4x also the smart pixel option this is my favorite option if you enable it your half of the pixels of the screen or like you can set how many percent of your 
uh, percent of pixels to be disabled and likewise you can save a lot of battery so that's nice I don't know if you are able to see small small dots or I, if I do like this so this so this feature is very handy and it was like <laughs> like most wanted feature and everyone was searching for it but no custom ROM other than Havoc OS is providing this feature in Redmi 4X right now so whenever you enable your battery savings then this option then this smart pixels automatically comes into action as you can see see like uh, no this uh, half of the pixels or some pixels are like dead or have been shut down and if I disable this so it's normal so this is a very 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 useful feature and in trust if you go it's a new feature I basically it like looks of uh, looks after your device security so that's also nice and this feature is not there in daughters by the way and if you go to about it will show who are the like founders so a huge shout out to the havoc os developers they have done an excellent job and also there are options of ota updates so whenever they will like do any modifications or give any updates it will reach to us and uh, and uh, I didn't observe any sort of like lagging issues and I got a more better performance RAM management performance uh, in Havoc OS when compared to Dot OS and Dot OS was a bit weak in terms of this RAM management but if this Havoc OS is quite intelligent see in uh, Dot OS whenever I ran 3 to 4 apps I used to get only 955 MB of RAM free but here I get almost still I have 1.4 GB of RAM free so the RAM management of this uh, ROM is excellent and I like it a lot and uh, many people you will ask that whether you I can use this as a daily driver or not so obviously you can use it as your daily driver there are no issues no lags nothing and I would like to rate this Havoc OS 4.8 out of 5 for this hardcore customizations and with the people who were looking for a heavily customizable ROM other than Resurrection Remix this ROM is definitely for you go ahead try this ROM you will enjoy it and so if you found this video informative do smash the like button and if you are not subscribed to our channel do also press the subscribe button and if, if you have any queries or such, if you want any suggestions regarding the installation of TWRP or if you regarding the installation of Havoc OS Feel free to comment below and links for downloading the ROM as well as the G apps will be given in the description below. So do also check the description below. So that's it and I hope to see you in my next one.